hypothetically, if I were to tell you guys that I've actually had the mouse for an entire month and just didn't say anything, how annoyed would you be? Hey guys, so today I am finally introducing you to a long-awaited member of the family who is not cooperating. You're gonna have to learn to cooperate, mate. After four plus years of waiting, I finally have a mouse! And he's the cutest thing in the world, look at him! Look at his cuteness! Look at him! Ooh, that tail! Don't jump! It's foolish, don't do it! Bye bye! Okay, so basic introduction. This is my male mouse, whose name is Zinc, keeping with the theme. I've actually had his name picked out for a couple of years and I'm so excited to finally put a face to that name. He suits it so very well. We have had Zinc for more than a month. We got him on January 13th, 2018, which I know happens to be the same day we went to Little Monsters. He did not come from Little Monsters though, since they don't sell mice. That is not something I was aware of when we went there. Turns out they don't sell mice. So we got Zinc from one of my local places. I'm obviously not gonna share the name of it for privacy reasons, but it is the same place I got potassium from and it is a place that I am happy to shop at, of course. Usual disclaimer for newbies. Yes, I do buy my rodents in pet shops and that is because in my country, you cannot adopt mice and hamsters. You just, you don't, you don't have that option. If you want small pets, you want exotics, you've got to buy them. There is no other choice. Luckily, we also don't have large chain pet shops, so you get to be very, very picky about where you buy from, and I always make sure that I only buy my animals from places where the owner clearly has some care in the way their animals are kept, the animals are healthy, the cages are clean, and everything is generally tip-top. That was not food, you plum. As you can tell, Zinc is pretty tame now, but when I got him, he was so spooked by everything. You guys are gonna see that in his upcoming taming first month at home vlog that I will be posting very, very shortly. When we first brought him home, he was absolutely terrified though, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, he's gonna be a nightmare to tame. In fact, once he figured that I wasn't a threat to him, he came around very, very quickly. So we had about a week or so of him being petrified, and then after that, he's just been fantastic and you can see he's quite happy to interact with me and be handled by me so we've already built a pretty good bond i've learned how to bribe him with cheesy flavored dreamies i'm all of a tizzy now and i can't remember what i was going to talk about <laughs> ah. okay let's start with the furthest backstory for any of you who didn't know we were getting a mouse so i have wanted mice for uh i think it's four plus years now it's been a long time it was just before we got amelie's that I decided I wanted mice and I just fell in love with them as a pet. However, we ended up getting Amelie's, which is why we didn't get mice back then, and since then it's just... It, all different things have been thrown up in life and it just hasn't been the right time to get mice. Until now. I've known for a very long time that I wanted a dark coloured mouse, so I went into the pet shop knowing what I was looking for. Either a black tan, a completely black, or a brown mouse. And I'm not sure how well you'll be able to tell on camera, but Zinc is more or less completely black. He's got a few white-ish or off-white patches on him, um, but they're, they're very, very small patches, so. Also, yes, he is 100% a male. I made sure to choose the mouse with the most noticeable testicle to make sure that that situation never happens again. I'm not doing it again. It's not happening. I refuse to be tricked by tiny animals. It's It's... It doesn't make me feel intelligent. Now, mice are highly social animals, and when you're keeping females, with the exception of a few rare cases, females are typically kept in groups, usually of three or more. That is the best situation for them to be in. So if you're keeping girls, gotta be in groups. But with males, the situation is a slightly different. Males are also highly social, that's just a mouse thing. However, when kept in captivity, males with other males do have a very, very high risk of fighting and falling out and injuring each other. So the general rule is that males are either kept on their own or, more controversially, they're neutered and kept with females. And the reason that's controversial is because it's considered an unnecessary surgery. It's also very high risk to perform unnecessary surgeries on such tiny animals. So uh, you will find some people that are 
you know, pro neutering to put them in groups. Personally, not something that sits well with me. I don't think my vet would even perform that kind of surgery just because of how high risk it is and unnecessary. Um, but that's okay because if you do have a male mouse living on his own, the only difference is you have to give them a lot more attention because they are, like I say, highly social animals. So you've got to become their companion. You've got to spend a lot of time with them. So if you are somebody who doesn't have a lot of time to spend but wants mice, get yourself some females. I, of course, have all the time in the world because I have no life and I'm a total internet loser. Zinc gets to spend a lot of time with me and I absolutely love it. One of the things you hear from owners of single male mice is how strong the bond that you build between them is. Now, we have absolutely no idea how old Zinc is. I am hoping he's kind of young and comparing footage from when I first got him to how he looks now, I feel like he's grown a little bit, but that might just be because he's on a slightly better diet and he's also not having to share his food with anyone, so he's eating more. So it could just be natural weight gain, it might not be uh, growth because of age. So we might have him for, you know, two years, which is one to two years, average lifespan of a mouse. We might only have him a few months. That's kind of the risk you take when buying feeders. You just have no idea. Which brings me to the other point, he is a feeder mouse, or I suppose an ex-feeder mouse now. Uh, he was born with the intention of being fed to snakes, which is fine. Snakes are beautiful creatures, they have to eat too. It's a little bit of a shame that their dinner is so adorable, but that's the way life is. Because he is a feeder though, he's not been bred with any particular care, which means he is more prone to getting sick and having a shorter lifespan. So, um, yeah. I just fall in love with animals that break my heart. Oh. I've just realised something I should have said at the beginning of this video is why, why I didn't mention to you guys right away when I got him. I didn't even mention this on Twitter. No one in the internet world knows. This is all news to you. The reason I decided to keep him a secret for a few weeks is simply because he is my very first mouse and this is a whole new experience for me. I mean, I, of course I've done you know lots of research into basic care, but there is nothing like hands-on experience. It's, it's a whole unique world of its own. And I wanted to kind of have that to myself without feeling pressured to put videos up right away. So I've spent the time bonding with him, taming him. Um, I have filmed a little bit of him, of course, but it's been really nice just to spend time one-to-one -one and not have to think about videos or anything like that. And now I am, very much ready to share him with you guys and ready for him to start featuring in his own little videos. Speaking of, I should address the topic of mouse videos because I'm sure some of you guys will be wondering, does this mean mouse care is coming to the channel? Yes and no. There are a couple of very, very basic topics which I will do at some point in the future, not right away. These, you know, a couple of months down the line maybe. But mostly what you're gonna see of Zinc is gonna be like cute videos. And that is simply because I am definitely not going to be your go-to person for mouse care. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am book smart on the most basic of basic mouse care topics, but when it comes to the advanced stuff, when it comes to the stuff that you learn through experience, through them throwing up weird things that make you go, ah, is that right? Is that normal? Should I do that? I need to ask somebody. Forums, where are you? When it comes to all that stuff, I don't know it yet because I haven't run into those situations. I haven't had to ask those questions. I am no more knowledgeable on mouse care than any other new owner. So please don't make the mistake, the unfortunately common mistake of thinking just because this is an animal care channel that I, I can touch an animal and magically know everything about it. I wish I could. That would be fantastic. I could make a fortune doing that. Why can't I do that? But that's not the case. I am still learning new things about mouse care every single day. It is going to take me years to get to the same level in mouse care knowledge as I am with hamster care knowledge. We've had 25 hamsters, that's 25 unique experiences, plus all the research and knowledge and finding out things to answer your questions as well. Uh, my knowledge has been built up quite, quite word. My knowledge has been expanded by that experience, but I'm not in that place right now with mice. It's going to take years. It's going to take owning multiple mice to learn lots of the things that I need to learn. So uh, please don't make me your go-to person for mouse care. If you need information on mouse care, I highly recommend mouse forums. That is where I have been learning all of my stuff for the last couple of years and 
they're fantastic, they're brilliant. So Zinc's content is mainly gonna be cute videos, DIYs, I've got to do a cage tour on this thing, I have the taming slash first month at home vlog coming up. So there's gonna be plenty of stuff, don't worry that just because there won't be instant mouse care or advanced mouse care that it means there's gonna be no mouse at all. He will definitely be featured in videos, absolutely 100%. He loves the camera. Have I said everything I needed to say? I don't know because it's like one o'clock in the morning and my brain is scrambled. Like delicious eggs. Mm. Oh, I remember the important last thing I needed to say. Zinc merchandise is now available in the merch shop. Isn't it adorable? Drew it myself. Oh no, he's so cute. And as always, the link to my merch shop is down below in the description box, so make sure you check that out. There's plenty of other merch designs. You've got Rodney, you've got the hamsters, you've got the cats. You've also got hashtag basic meow for those of you who asked for it. So I will bid you guys farewell. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being so patient and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!